Good morning. Just had a shower. We're packing up. We're gonna go meet quads. Not sorry, and Pilgrim for breakfast. Vince's insoles are out for delivery again, so they should be in this morning. Captain has to pack up if, or get a few snacks, and then we're gonna decide on our plan for the trail. Currently debating Baden Powell. It's covered in snow. Not sure if we're gonna take the alternate or take the summit. We'll see. Pack parking. We just finished breakfast and we are going to go down to the hardware store and pick up Vincent's insoles. And then we're still deciding on what, what we're doing for the trail, so stay tuned. Just back at Mountain Hardware. Uh, we're just charging some our phones up a little bit here, still trying to decide what we're going to do. Um, picked up the package with Vince's new insoles in it. I'm not sure how they feel. I think he's done like one walk around in them. That's it so far. So, yeah. So we're just leaving the hardware store. We're gonna get some, oh, there's my face. We're gonna fill up our water, get a ride to Inspiration Point, and just get back on trail for a couple miles today because it's 1.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> town is, oh, town is a vortex as they say. It's a trap, it's hard to get out of. So get back on trail for the evening. And then I think we're probably gonna do the road walk around Baden Powell. We just, we don't have an interest in walking straight up for a mile and a half in snow, so yeah. So we're gonna try to do this. Otherwise, we're gonna call the trail angel, but the one guy said it's super easy to get a ride. So just try to hitch. <laughs> so we're at Vincent's Gap. We got a ride, we got picked up really quickly actually by a guy that used to live in Wrightwood. He was driving an Audi A7, so probably the nicest hitch we've ever gotten. I'm so glad I was smelling clean. <laughs> okay, so we've decided on the road walk. The Blue Blaze is really long. The road walk is shorter. There's a picnic area maybe in about five miles. We figure we'll make it there tonight. And then, um, yeah, because Baden Powell has like a mile and a half straight up of snow. We're not doing that, especially not with Vince's foot. <laughs> on a dark desert highway. Just kidding, but it's a deserted highway. The road's still closed for winter closure, so. And a little rock slide, cool. So anyways, we're walking up the closed road for a while. Walking back to Vincent's Gap because Vincent's foot is still very, very sore. We're walking for about an hour and a half. Now we're gonna go back and see if we can get a ride back into town. He needs to rest his foot longer. Poor guy. He's not super happy. He's feeling defeated. I'm not sure what's gonna happen when we get back to where we got onto this road at because it's probably gonna be 5.30 before we're there and it's the end of the road so I don't know if anybody else is going to be coming down here tonight, so we may be camping in the parking lot tonight. Get a ride in the morning. So we're just coming back into the parking lot. It's 5.30, 5.29, almost exactly what I thought. I figured we walked about six miles. There's at least one car in the parking lot. I don't even know. I don't even have cell service up here. I think Captain did, so I might be able to get a ride. I don't know. Or we might be sleeping in the parking lot tonight. <laughs> Looks like over here, people have camped here. Wouldn't be the first people to camp in the parking lot. But it was like, it was about the Yeah, only So we had the same guy that dropped us off at the trail pick us back up and we're back at the hardware store so now we got to figure out what we're gonna do and we left Doug there he's gonna carry on without us but we will see him soon again I know it so we found a place to stay there's a lady coming to pick us up for our Airbnb um, we're gonna stay at least one night and then we might have a ride for tomorrow afternoon or Sunday from the gentleman that's given us a ride twice um, he doesn't usually do rides on the weekend, but uh, I put up a group in a uh, post in a trail angel group and he actually private messaged me and said he might be able to take us. So yeah, I think we're going to end up in Acton for probably a couple of days, rest up Vince's feet. So 
Not what we planned, but that's okay. That's just what's happening, and we're okay with that. We roll with the punches or something, or hobble with the punches or something. What was that? We roll with the punches and or hobble with the punches. Yeah, so there you go. So we're at the Airbnb that we got a better deal on than the room we stayed in last night. And this place is huge. And it's just the two of us in here. <laughs> Full kitchen. Bathroom, laundry, king size bed. <laughs> this is really cool. What's that? Oh, there's a, actually like another two twin beds in here that we won't even use because we don't need to. But this is really cute. <laughs> nice. And it has a bathtub so Vince can have a bath. Oh, you just want to walk on that squishy mat tomorrow Seriously. perfect okay that's awesome <laughs> we're living like kings kd and hot dogs <laughs> well i am tired so this is my ending video for the day um yeah so looks like we're gonna try to get a ride to acton tomorrow which is about four days up the trail then Vince can rest for a couple days. We can stay in the campground there and stuff like that. So it'd be cheaper than trying to stay in a hotel or Airbnb. We just can't take a week off and do that. We need to stay in our tent somewhere. So um, my gratefulness for the day today is that we were able to get a ride back in late on a Friday night, find a place to stay late on a Friday night, and it has a bathtub. So Vince was able to soak his feet and hopefully um, that helped them a little bit tonight. So yeah, stay tuned for our continued adventures. <laughs>